All right, it's time to ditch the carrots and try these foods for eye health instead. And if you feed your gut buddies what they want, you can actually improve your eyesight. No joke. And we're going to get into the one food you absolutely need to avoid if you want beautiful eyes that shine. First of all, nuts, hazelnuts, pine nuts, walnuts will improve your eye health. Why? Because they contain vitamin E, the usable forms of vitamin E. A large study found that vitamin E, together with other nutrients, can help slow age-related macular degeneration, AMD, from getting worse. The problem with most, not all, but most vitamin E supplements in multivitamins, or even alone, actually contain the wrong artificial isomer of vitamin E. And what you really want is to get all the different forms of vitamin E, which are tocophenols and tocotrienols. And you need to get that from whole foods like nuts. Again, hazelnuts, pine nuts, and walnuts are a big three for improving eye health. Dark leafy greens. Why? Because they contain carotenoids, lutein, and zeaxanthin. And you'll see many commercials on TV advertising these particular compounds to help eye health and to improve macular degeneration or prevent macular degeneration in the first point. These plant-based forms of vitamin A will lower your risk of long-term eye diseases, including cataracts and AMD. Next up, small fish, anchovies, mackerel, oysters, and wild-caught salmon. Why? They contain the long-chain omega-3 fats, EPA and DHA. Now, retinas, the back of our eye that actually allows us to see things, need two types of omega-3 fatty acids to work well, both DHA and EPA. You can find this in fatty fish and seafood. Now, omega-3 fats seem to protect your eyes from AMD and from glaucoma. Low levels of these fatty acids have been linked to dry eyes. The important thing to remember is try to get wild-caught seafood. Not a day goes by that one of my patients tells me they're eating healthy, organic, farm-raised seafood. Folks, the definition of farm-raised means that the fish were in a cage and they were fed organic corn and soybeans. The fish weren't followed around to see what they were eating organically. So if you see the organic, even if it sounds wonderful, like organic salmon from Scotland, or organic Nordic salmon, or organic Canadian salmon, don't buy it. Look for wild caught. The easiest way to look for wild caught salmon is by law, Alaskan salmon has to be wild caught. That's not true of Canadian salmon, it's not true of Norway, not true of the Nordic countries. Just look for wild caught Alaskan, just the word Alaskan salmon and you'll be fine. Yes, it's only available part of the year, that's okay. Stock up during the season, which quite frankly is right now, and freeze it. It'll stay a long time in your freezer. To me, the easiest way to get these small fish is to buy some sardines. If you don't like the skin and bones, get boneless skinless. They're readily available, even at Trader Joe's. They're available at Costco, and it's an easy way to get these small omega-3 fish into your diet. Next up, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, greater than 72% cacao has polyphenols that will dramatically improve your eye health. Berries contain several compounds that have been shown to improve eye health. This was first noted back in World War II when British fighter pilots 
were actually fed bilberry jam every day to improve their night vision. Why bilberries? Bilberries contain a lot of polyphenols. But you don't have to go eat bilberry jam. You can get your polyphenols from berries, from particularly raspberries and blackberries. Try to eat them in season. Polyphenols in dark chocolate, polyphenols in coffee, polyphenols in tea will also benefit your eye health. There was an exciting study published a few years ago by an ophthalmologist who gave a polyphenol compound product, which I personally use, called Longevinex, to people with macular degeneration and published results that macular degeneration improved by taking this polyphenol product whose main base is resveratrol. So there is good science behind the idea that this will support your eye health as well. Now, a word of warning. Not a day goes by that I don't see a commercial on TV or in social media attesting to various ways to bring out the brightness and whiteness of your eyes. Everybody is fixated on getting rid of the redness in eyes. And there's a very popular prescription medication that will do this, but it comes at a price. You'll see in my new book, Gut Check, that one of the biggest drivers of eye irritation and eye redness is a compound in healthy whole grains called wheat germ agglutinin. Now, I've been telling you since the plant paradox how dangerous wheat germ agglutinin, WGA, is for your blood vessels, for leaky gut, for heart health, and brain health. But suppose you're not worried about that. If you want red eyes, have yourself some whole wheat bread. You will be loaded with wheat germ agglutinin. You will make antibodies to it. And it turns out that wheat germ agglutinin sticks to your eyeballs. You make an antibody against it and you get red eyes. So save yourself a lot of money. Save yourself some prescriptions. Stop eating whole wheat bread. Easy way to get rid of the problem. Now, there are other great tips for eye health that I've talked about in the past. First of all, buy yourself a pair of blue light blocking glasses to protect your eyes from junk blue light, which is everywhere. Wear them when you're working on a computer, looking at your phone, and certainly while watching TV at night. Now, make sure they're quality blue light blocking glasses. There are many imposters out there that block little to no blue light. And look for my recommendations in my books or even online. Finally, exercise your eyes. There's great ways to do eye yoga. You can do palming. You can do eye rolling. You should exercise the muscles of your eyeballs. There are important muscles that will help you avoid eye strain. And you'll notice that if you're staring at something for a long time, you will definitely notice your eyesight diminish. Take a break. Roll your eyes. Have somebody tell a bad joke and roll your eyes at the bad joke. Exercise your eyes and you'll reap the benefits. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. Studies have shown that people who eat avocado every day lose weight compared to people who don't eat avocado. 